When I was teaching magic online, I focused on one area and was passionate, one area in particular. And it's the area that magicians call showmanship. Showmanship is just the fancy word for communication skills or public speaking. I teach executives and leaders how to use their voice, how to share their vision. Now, I believe there are common threads between the world of magic and the world of business, the world you all live in. My friends, more important than ever, we must learn the advisor's instrument. We must learn the leader's instrument, how to use this, our voice. My name is Vin Zhang, and if I had to describe myself in three words, I'd begin with keynote speaker. And the second word would have to... <coughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> Ah, the second word would have to be magician. Oh, and the last word would obviously have to be public speaking teacher. Oh, and I better, better do that. In the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you the power behind the leader's instrument, your voice. Now, if you doubt the power behind this instrument, let me share with you one quote. It takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. You may be this good at what you do technically, but if you can only communicate this well, people don't perceive you as being this good, they perceive you as being this good, you're only as good as you can communicate. And then there's this space here, and that's Potential, potential you have not yet revealed. So as you improve your ability to communicate, you reveal potential to others. You're able to amplify the best parts of who you are to others. What I do with the majority of my time now is I teach communication skills. I teach leaders and I teach people how to use their voice, professionals. I teach everyone how to use their voice. Because here's the thing, most people in the world we live in today, most people only focus on visual image, how they come across visually. Right? But here's the thing, visual image is cheap. I can buy the clothes, I can buy my shoes, I can buy my watch. The thing about vocal image, Kerwin, you have to earn that. Mm. A song has 280 words. A page in a book has 280 words. Why can we repeat a song, yet not a page in the book? A song has melody. It has melody. You add more melody to your voice, what you say becomes more memorable. What you say becomes more sticky. Many of us have a melody that lives underneath our voice. There's always someone who comes into the office on Monday morning and is, it's Monday again. It's five days till Friday. Right? And then there's always that person that comes into the office. Guys, I missed you over the weekend. What have you been doing? And you can feel it, and then, the, but there's always, there's always. Yeah. You were late. So listen, there is a melody that lives underneath your voice. There is a melody. If you want your people to be able to create new and unique experiences for those they serve, here's a thought. The tongue can paint pictures, the eyes cannot see. Take off your right shoe. No, I'm just kidding. It's not there. It's not there. I'm just kidding. Thank you very much. Give her a big round of applause. Please think of any playing card. It was nine of hearts. Okay. Could you show the audience what it is? Unfortunately, there's going to be one thing that stops you from doing any of this. One thing that stops you from using storytelling every day in your lives. One thing that stops you from playing with your voice. And do you know what that one thing is? It's fear. It's fear. And instead of just talking about fear, I must make you all experience fear. There are four bags. One has a nail in it. Jessica, thank you for doing this. Feel it on your palm, because that's where, yeah. Okay, that's real? Okay, very good. I'm gonna put, don't look, but I'm gonna put this in this one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mix the bags up and you all try to keep track of which is which, right? So I'm going to get Jessica now to choose which bag I slap my hand on. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed? Right-handed, fantastic. Then we'll use your left. Okay, so we'll use your left. Thank you. 
applause. It wasn't there. Give her a big round of applause. Thank you so much. And thank you. All the fear we feel, what's fascinating about it is that it's not real. Since the beginning, I've already palmed the nail out. Fear is something that even though it's not real, it controls us. It holds us back from being effective leaders. So how do we turn fear into something that is more useful? Something like courage. Fear is missing one more ingredient before it becomes courage. One more, and Jessica showed us what that ingredient was. And the ingredient was action. Action. She felt the fear, she took action, and she did it anyway. And in the process, she was courageous. Because courageous people, my friends, do not do things in the absence of fear. Courageous people feel the fear, and they do it anyway. And thank you for your engagement. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. You were right up front and you see the game. so much engagement. I appreciate it. I noticed it. So. so how long have you been uh, in the industry for? But now that you know this, don't leave it to chance. Oh, is that right? Is that how you know? Very nice meeting you. Take care, mate. Nice meeting you too. And thank you for the kind words. Your voice is literally your personality. You all have a beautiful instrument. Play it with purpose. It takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, my friends. Thank you very much. Thank you, Navita. Have a wonderful conference. If you're looking for something fresh, new and different, I have just the keynote for you. Looking forward to potentially working together soon. Oh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, sorry. I'm not even speaking at this conference. Ha, ha, ha.